you remember the Michael J. Fox feature film series in the 1980s, Back to the Future, when they went into the future to the year 2015? We are now five years beyond that. It is 2020. It's a new year. It's a new season. We are back. This is the first race of a brand new year, the WSK Champions Cup here at Adria Karting Raceway. The date is the 26th of January 2020. It's the first of, well, more than 20 events for WSK promotion in total, including the Italian F4 Championship, powered by Arbas, the FIA Formula Regional European Championship, and of course, international karting starting right here with the WSK Champions Cup. We are here at Adria Karting Raceway in the north of Italy, around one hour south of Venice for this first event of the season. And we thought, what better way to start the season than speak to our legendary race director, Mr. Alessandro Ferrari, who is back as we celebrate 15 years of competition for WSK promotion. Alessandro has officiated or competed in more than 1,000 events starting way back in 1978. And he's back as race director once again for WSK promotion for the year 2020. We spoke to Alessandro Ferrari, our race director here at the WSK Champions Cup here at Adria Karting Raceway. Una stagione 2020 is shaping up to be a fantastic season, starting here with the WSK Champions Cup and then immediately into the Super Masters Series, the WSK Euro Series starting in March, then the WSK Open and the Final Cup. 11 events at some of the best circuits in Italy. This year there is a new look to the 60 Mini category with the engines and chassis being used which we are trying out for the first time this weekend. And so far, the reaction has been very positive. This is the 15th year of competition for WSK promotion. This weekend, the weather has been somewhat challenging. Even when there was no rain for long periods, the track never really dried out. For me, this was not so easy to manage because there are a lot of new young drivers, but they did listen in the driver's briefing and conducted themselves on track extremely well. There is now a great working synergy between race control and our technical and sporting stewards, which contributes to the success of WSK promotion events. Alessandro Ferrari speaking to us, and in a few moments' time, he will take control of the first of our three finals this afternoon, starting with OK Junior. The carts are on the circuit, the final 34. Martini Estensone, the Norwegian, starts out of pole position, but pole position in free, in open time practice qualifying on Friday was taken by the young Italian, Brando Badoe. That is Stensone. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of what has happened thus far this weekend in OK Junior at the WSK Champions Cup. It was cold here in the middle of winter in the north of Italy, five degrees below freezing, but the young Italian, Brando Badoea, took pole position on Friday, scorching around this circuit in a time of 49.69 seconds. Arvid Lindblad, though, the Londoner, has been the driver to beat. It rained all throughout the time to, or the practice heats yesterday, the qualifying heats. However, the Londoner, Lindblad, was the one to beat and emerges at the top of the field. He'll start on the front row of the grid for the final. Luca Badoer, the former Grand Prix driver who celebrated his 49th birthday yesterday, watched his boy dominate much of his heat races. Ugo Ugochuku controversially pushed into the gravel on the opening lap of his heat. He did fight back to win his two heats later in the afternoon. Alfio Spinner, the Sicilian, 303 also in form this weekend. The track did not dry out. The rain did ease up, but it did not clear. However, for the final this afternoon, we will race on slick tires. Triple three, the Jamaican Alex Powell. He dominated mini racing 
in 2019. This is only his third junior race. He's not at the front of the field. However, he has got 16 laps to make his way up through. That was Emerson Fittipaldi, the two-time Formula One world champion, two-time Indianapolis 500 winner, watching his young boy, Emmo, who has been impressive throughout the heats. Martinius Stensone to the left of your screen will start on pole position for this, the WSK Champions Cup here at Adria Karting Raceway. To the right of your screen, Arvid Limblad, 304 from London in England for another five days. He's still a European driver, as are all the Brits. For another five days, they're still part of the European Union. We look at Martinius. Lille Diddy 3-1-1, Team Rosberg, Cut Republic on pole position. He did win his pre-final, as did Arvid. We started with 50 drivers in the OKJ OK category. There is the Londoner. 304, the Cut Republic on grid number two. Incidentally, last year's champion, Alex Dunn, who's not with us this weekend. He is watching on live from his home in Ireland. And we look forward to seeing Alex back somewhere. Well, soon. Where? I won't tell you. Freddie Slater. Wow. The young Englishman. He has been so impressive. Starts out of grid number three for Ricky Flynn Motorsport. Alongside the Sicilian for Team Chetila Performance Racing. Alfio Spinner. 303. The Cart Republic. Christian Vertuca. 344 from Milan. For the Birol Art Team. On the third row of the grid critically. He is on the inside of the third row. He starts alongside the American, Ugo Ugachuku, who was pushed into the gravel in his opening heat. He did fight back courageously to take two heat wins. He's still certainly in contention. The familiar silver bell helmet of the driver from New York, USA, starts out of grid number six. That is Artem Severukian, the Russian for Ward Racing, all the way from Yelkaterinburg in 313 alongside his countryman, Miron Pingasov, in the 308 Cart Republic. The Russian Spaniard, you can see the flags, or the flag of Asturias, painted onto his helmet, which incidentally, in reality, is the colors of Fernando Alonso's racing team. There's a lot of new changes for 2020 with drivers and teams. However, some familiar faces and names emerge at the top of the grid, which looks like this. Stensone on pole alongside Lindblad, Slater and Spinner on the second row of the grid. Christian Cannibal Bertuka and Ugo Ugachuko. Then it's the Russian Severukian Pingasov. Brando, the fastest qualifier out of nine. And Ariel Elk and the Israeli on the outside of the fifth row. Kutzkov, Christian Ho, the Singaporean, the Russian son of a top gun from Sochi, Maximilian Popov. And it's Josh Irfan, Dion Gauda, Robert Dahan, Loris Clerici, Kasper Stuka, and the boy from Brazil, Emo Fittipaldi. He starts alongside Joel Bergstrom, who has struggled in the wet conditions this weekend. Look down to grid number 30. Let's say it for the first time this year. It is the Jamaican Alex Powell, but the question is, will he be a sensation like he was last year? Starting on the 10th row of the grid, the final row, you saw the South African, Nicholas Roos from Vereniggen, 300 kilometers. Southwest of Johannesburg, scrapes in on grid number 34 alongside the other Brazilian driver, Matias Ferreira. This is the WSK Champions Cup. Welcome to a brand new season. Welcome to Adria Karting Raceway. The Champions Cup, which last year was won by Alex Dunn, the year prior, the Estonian Paul Aron. Ilya Marotsov won in 2017. Kian Juice, who is working with the Forza Racing team this weekend in 2016. Logan Sargent won in 2015. And Enam Ahmed took out the 2014 race. Martinius leads the field around. We are on a dry circuit. It is Vegas Slicks. Welcome to 2020. The field scatter at the back of the pack. And Mr. Ferrari sends them around another time. 
settling the nerves. Martinius on pole. Right behind him is fast, Freddie Slater. So impressive all weekend, particularly in his pre-final for the Ricky Flynn Motorsport team who have switched to Cosmic Chassis for 2020. RFM still powered by Vortex. Stensornet. The Cart Republic with the IAMI engine on pole position for Team Rossberg Cart Republic. Sixteen laps, just over twenty kilometres. The WSK Champions Cup, live from Adria Karting Raceway in the north of Italy. The date is the twenty-sixth of January, two thousand twenty. Another chapter is about to be written. The junior final is green. We race. What to start down the inside by the Sicilian spinner just forced his way through past both Arvid Limblad, Freddie Slater, and Martinia Sensone, who himself has also been passed by the American Ugo. Spinner has got the race lead with a superb start in the Chetila Performance Cut Republic. Arvid is right behind him in the 304 machine. We've got a clean start, the WSK Champions Cup. The final is green for 2020. Spinner runs off the circuit so slightly the temperature is only eight degrees Celsius. The track is dry, but it is still very greasy. There are still wet patches and there's not much grip to be found. Here at Adria, Spinner leads them across the line. It is a Cut Republic one and two. Ugo in position three from Stenson S. Later. Pingasar. The Russian Spaniard goes through ahead of Christian Ho, the Singaporean in the Sauber. Robert Tahan, Bertulka, and Maximilian Popov in position 10 from Ariel Elkin. By the way, Severukin, a replay of the start. Watch Spinner from the second row of the grid. Just turned right. There was no grip down the inside, but he found it. Stenson, I thought he'd try and stay out wide. Well, he did, but he lost time. The Norwegian. Back in third place. He's just got by the American as we took a look at that replay. Uga Chukul from New York, USA, the other side of the Atlantic. In position four, a spot off the podium as they complete the second of 16 laps here this afternoon. Spinner, who won this race in 2017, but that was in 60cc mini aboard a TM powered CRG. He's got a great lead already, a four tenths of a second. Incidentally, Ariel Elkin racing for the BDK racing team. This early stage of the race, he's in 11th, but he's the fastest driver on the circuit. Slater slots in behind Uga Chukul, RFM, running four and five. Ugo looks behind him. There is the Singaporean Christian Ho, one of the more aggressive junior drivers. He won't need to be asked twice to take his opportunity and make a move up past both the RFM drivers if he gets half a chance. So there's Martinez in position three. Down the inside goes Slater. Ugo closes the door on his teammate, but in turn opens it for Christian Ho. The Sauber Card Republic goes by Slater, gives him a touch on the exit and takes the place back. Nicely done by Fast Freddy Slater. RFM still stay four and five as Martinez closes in on the back of Arvid Limblad. It is Cart Republic one, two and three. Chetila performance from the KR team and Team Rosberg in third place with Stensorne. The Sicilian from the Englishman, then the Norwegian, the American in fourth. Another English driver in position five in Fast Freddy Slater. Spinner has his lead cut down to two tenths of a second. Limblad just gets the slipstream. They're coming up to turn three. I can tell you off screen at that corner right there, you saw the abandoned carts. We have lost Dowie to Decker and the Jamaican. Well, he is no sensation this weekend at least. 
Alex Powell has come to grief and is one of the first retirements. As we say, just his third race in the junior category, having raced at Daytona Kart Week in X30 a couple of weeks ago in the USA as Arvid looks down the inside, thinks better of it. Martinia saw that. He just watched it. Wasn't close enough to take advantage. So Powell is out. Derek De Decker is out, as is the Italian Giovanni Trentin. We're down to 31. Arvid down the inside. The track is 10 metres wide. Spinner left the door open. The yellow flag was out. That is Powell's car. The triple three energy being pushed away. We'll see him back next weekend for the first round of the WSK Super Master Series right here at Adria as Ugo retakes position three. Stints on air, concentrating on Lindblad ahead. Did not count on the American retaking position three. They're coming up to complete lap number six, the WSK Champions Cup here at Adria Karting Raceway. Spinner doing a superb job out front, the Sicilian leading from the Englishman. It is still Kart Republic one and two, but the cosmic of the American, Ugo, now up into third place. Stenzone tries to fight back. He did start on pole position, remember? The Norwegian trying to take the first victory of the year. Christian Ho going with him, a little bit of a gap back to the Dutchman. Robert Dehana's arm, it goes down the inside. The Englishman takes the lead, comes together with Spinner. Wow, how close was that? Spinner does not give as Ugo takes advantage of that. It was almost the end of the race for the Englishman and the Sicilian right there and then. Look at Christian Ho, he's in position five. Here comes the Singaporean. Ugo, the American, leads the way here today at Adria Karting Raceway. What a fight for the WSK Champions Cup. If this is anything to go by, 2020 will be absolutely spectacular. A move down the inside from Martinius, the Norwegian. Back on the podium, Slater goes by and takes Christian Ho. Spinner, he led. The opening part of the race is back in second. The American, the familiar bell helmet of the driver from New York, USA, still leads, but not for long. Alfio fights his way back. We've got a six cut fight for the lead here this afternoon. Spinner, Ugajuku, Stensone, Slater, Christian Ho. The Singaporean is up into fifth place. As Harvard Lindblad falls back to sixth. He started out of grid number two. As you look at Ariel Elkin, who has been superb all weekend, the driver from Haifa in the Holy Land of Israel, into seventh place for the BDK racing team. And he's actually catching the leaders in front. Here comes the Israeli as Christian down the inside. The Singaporean in the Sauber, now just a single step off the podium. Martinius P3, Ugo 2, and Alfio the Sicilian looking for his second WSK Champions Cup title after winning this race in 60 Mini back in 2017. Down through the Magni Corps chicane. Spinner with a little bit of a lead, looks over his shoulder. Ugo desperate to stand on the top step. Spinner with a purple middle sector. We passed half race distance. 2020 years ago. This is the WSK Champions Cup. And Elkin has now gone by into sixth spot. Lindblad, the Londoner, is going backwards. Artem Severukian, Miram Pingasov. The Russians are coming. They've got by Christian Bertuka. And it's Gauda, by the way, the fastest qualifier back in 12th. From Papa Fittipaldi, Josh Erfan, Kutzkoff. As we look at Martinius, Ugo closes the door, locks up, and goes wide. They will both lose time. Martinius has to get out of the throttle, not to run into the back of Ugo Juku. And that allows Spinner to build his break, or his gap is now out to five tenths of a second. With that move, with Ugo going deep. Stenzone couldn't run into the back of him. 
and he had to back it out. Stenson in now into second place, just off screen. Christian Bertuka has retired. Bertuka, who has been so impressive all weekend. The Italian is out, as is Ariel Elkin. He was doing so well, but they joined the list of retirements, including the Dutchman, Robert De Haan, Gustav Wisniewski, Paul De Decker, Trentin, and now Christian Bertuka as well. Christian Ho comes to play. Don't discount the Singaporean taking the win here this afternoon. There is still five laps remaining. And he's now on the back of the American Ugo, who was in the lead. He's now back to third. And he's coming under threat. It is Kart Republic. One, two, and four. Split by the Cosmic. Make that one, two, and three. Ugo's out. Ugo has been turned around. He's out. Oh, wow. The yellow flag waves. You saw that at the top of your screen. Christian Ho has gone into third place. Yes, it's a cut Republic. One, two, three, four. But in controversial circumstances, Ugo, the American, did not deserve that. He's out. Spinner pulls away. He's got six tenths of a second now. Back to Martinez. Those two drivers do not know what's happened behind them. Christian certainly does. The Sauber Kart Republic in position three, but there is a big cloud hanging over his head. I don't mean the literal rain clouds that have plagued us here throughout the week at Adria. But Ho and Ugachuku did make contact. For the moment, nothing coming through from race control. Spinner, though, let's concentrate on the Sicilian who has got four kilometers to race and take his second WSK Champions Cup title. The gap was six tenths of a second. Martinius tries to pull him in. He looks behind, still stays at six tenths. There's Christian Ho, the Sauber Card Republic. Lindblad still in fourth. He has capitalized, taken his opportunity as the cards are littered around the circuit. Kasper Stuka, Philip Victorson join the list of retirements that now include Ugo Ukachuku, as well as Elkin, Bertuka, Wisniewski, Dahan, Paul De Decker, and Giovanni Trentin. Two laps remaining at the end of this one. That was Robert Dahan's abandoned energy in the foreground. Team Chetila performance. They will have an official team presentation here at the circuit next Saturday night on the eve of the first round of the WSK Super Masters Series here at Adria. And they may well be displaying the winning trophy from this, the WSK Champions Cup in six days time. There's Lindblad going wheel to wheel with Artem Severukian. The Russian can't get by just yet. Josh Irfan and Dion Gowda having a good run. Rounding out the 10 at the moment, ahead of the two Russians, Kutskov and Popov. Ho is closing in on the back of Stan Sorner. There is Severukin on the back of the London Lindblad, who won his pre-final. He was first after the heats yesterday, and he's now trying to find a way past Artem Severukin, driver from Yelkaterinburg in Russia for the Swedish Ward Racing Team. We go back to the front. Alfio Spinner is on his last lap. Il Siciliano. The Sicilian looking for a second victory in the WSK Champions Cup. Christian Ho all over the back of Martinius Densone. Martinius leaves the door open. But Christian is too far back. He looks behind. He'll try and cover him off. It is still Cut Republic 1, 2, 3. Christian thought about it. They won't catch Alfio Spinner though. And I don't think Christian is close enough to get by the Norwegian, although we might try. He backs out of the throttle. The final few corners, the checkered flag is about to wave for Il Siciliano. Alfio Spinner with a spectacular victory here at Adria. Martinez in P2. And Christian Ho provisionally 
makes it a Cart Republic, one, two, and three. Christian Ho, I can tell you, is under investigation, so don't be surprised. One, if the podium is delayed, or two, if he's not standing on it. He may well do, he has crossed the line in third. He was quick, but no one was quicker than Alfio Spinner. The Sicilian has taken his second WSK Champions Cup. Here are the results. Fantastic victory for Alfio from Martinius in second place. Christian Ho, the Singaporean third. He is under investigation though. Severukian four from Arvid Lindblad. Pingasov, good drive from Brando to finish in seventh. Head of Slater who has been so impressive all weekend. The third Englishman inside the top 10, Josh, comes home ninth. And Dion Gowda, the Indian-born Singaporean, in position 10. Kutzkoff, Joel Bergstrom, Popov, Peter Palby, Jonathan Favor, Matteo De Paolo, the biggest Man City fan in the world, Maxwell Dodds, comes home 17th for the team that won the title last year with Alex Nunn, Forza Racing. Lottis Clettisi, the driver from Ibiza in the middle of the Mediterranean, Bruno Del Pino, 19th. And it's Unpilagov. Good drive from Nicholas Ruse to be 21st. Head of Maxence for Bruges, Leonardo Menya, and Matthias Ferreira. But take nothing away from Alfio Spinner. He has dominated and, it is, and is a deserving winner of the WSK Champions Cup. The first race of a brand new season here at Adria. Stay with us on WSK.IT, the podium presentation in just a moment. The first race for 2020 here at Adria Karting Raceway. The WSK Champions Cup on the last week in January. It's the first event of a super season coming up. It is the 15th year of WSK promotion activity starting way back in 2006 with just three races. We've got 20 this year, including the Italian F4 Championship powered by Arbath and the FIA Formula Regional European Championship as well. The drivers making their way up to the podium for the first presentation here this afternoon. Alfio Spinner takes his second victory at this event, the WSK Champions Cup. It is a Kart Republic. One, two, three. Remember the final cup here just two months ago when Tony Kart finished one, two, three in OK. Well, it's a new year and it's a new name on top, albeit this is Junior. That is OK. The drivers make their way up to the podium. The podium presentation for OK Junior, the WSK Champions Cup, with a sterling drive in third place from Singapore in the Sauber Cut Republic, Christian Ho. Second place for Team Rosberg Cut Republic from Norway, Martinius Stinson Air. Per la seconda volta ha vinto questa gara, but for the first time, Alfio Spinner wins it in junior. The winner of the WSK Champions Cup, Il Siciliano, Alfio Spinner. The third place trophy to Christian Ho. Second place to Martini Stenzone, Il Vincitore, Il Siciliano, Alfio Spinner. The national anthem of Italia.
podium for OK Junior, the WSK Champions Cup. Third place, Christian Ho. Second, Martini Stensone for the second time. The Sicilian for Team Chetty La Performance Card Republic, Alfio Spinner.